the Alps are the roof of Europe. In the mountains of Engadin, close to the Italian and Austrian borders, lies one of the most beautiful and imposing ice fields of the Swiss Alps, Mortarach Glacier. It begins at Pitz Bernina at an altitude of 4,000 meters and ends only 2,000 meters lower near the Bernina Pass. With its rugged ice shell and its six kilometer long tongue, it resembles a mythical creature. A labyrinth of ice with dangerous crevasses and impenetrable caves, it's the epitome of alpine grandeur. But it is also an example of the vulnerability of the Alps. Since the start of systematic study in 1878, the glacier has receded by 2.2 kilometers due to global warming. Engadin is also home to a species of wild goat, the alpine ibex. Its image features on the cantonal coat of arms of Graubünden. The large horned mammal is a hardy animal and the sparse grassland above the tree line are enough for it to survive. Up to 20 animals live together in a herd. The human belief in the medicinal properties of their horns was the ibex undoing. By 1650, the animals had practically vanished from the Alps. Thanks to the resettlement measures, some 300 ibex once again roamed the Swiss National Park in the canton of Graubünden. It was established in 1914 and is the only national park in Switzerland. Here, Serena Campbell Andre works as a game biologist. My father is a hunter. As I accompanied him from a young age, the animals have always fascinated me. Their distribution, their behavior, how the herd is set up. If you grow up in Engadin, you automatically come into contact with the animals. When temperatures rise, the animals retreat to the more refreshing higher regions. That makes it more difficult for Serena to locate them. The biologist monitors their numbers. The young already lock horns and fight playfully. Practice for more serious wrestling matches to come when the males are older. Ibex share their habitat in the national park with red deer and chamois. Serena wants to examine how many ibex the alpine wilderness can support. She works together with the park rangers. If you want to study the ibex, then you have to be aware that it requires venturing into steep terrain. The animals can only be found in steep mountain regions. And you must also never forget that they are wild animals, and you can never predict how they might behave. In a deep circular valley at an altitude of some 2,000 meters, the park rangers have laid a trap. They had to wait for four days before an animal walked inside. The ibex couldn't resist the salt bait. Salt is essential for the animal's survival and rare in the high mountain reaches. After the animal has been sedated, Serena and the rangers have 40 minutes to examine it. 
was wir als allererstes noch machen, wenn das Tier What we do first after giving them the narcotic is blindfold them. As soon as they can't see anymore, the ibex calm down. You can tell by their pulse and you can feel that the animals submit to the examination. By looking at the horns, Serena can determine that the ibex is six years old. These blood samples will have to be sent in for centrifugation, but we'll also do a swab test. Then we can examine if the animal has been sick and what diseases there are. From all of these samples, we retain a serum. That way, we can keep a DNA sample of the animal. Von jedem Tier auch also eine DNA Probe. The genetic fingerprints help the rangers to gather information about relations in the population. By using tags, they can trace the movements of the animals and discover where their summer and wintering grounds are. The sedative slowly starts to wear off. That means only a few minutes left for the scientists. In the Swiss National Park, the ibex have no natural predators and hunting them is prohibited. The numbers are regulated by the harsh winters.